In the meantime, oil prices today hitting a six-year low, taking stocks down with them. And one of the reasons for the dramatic price drop of oil in the past year is simply the glut of oil in the market. Major producers are pointing fingers at each other over this low price tumble. And OPEC members like United Arab Emirates and the Saudis are suggesting the U.S. is a major reason for the market woes. The U.S. is now the largest producer of oil in the world. U.S. oil production has surpassed that of Saudi Arabia since late in 2000. A year before that, it surpassed Russia's output. This year, the United States is forecast to produce 9.3 million barrels a day. Here now, Fox Business correspondent Charlie Gasparino for more on this, and Phil Flynn, who's an oil trader, senior market analyst at the Price Features Group and a Fox Business contributor. So, Phil, we're all talking about the low gas prices, how great that is for consumers. But the question is, at what cost? And whether or not some of these big oil producers like Saudi Arabia and the UAE are purposefully driving, helping to drive prices lower to put U.S. shale business out of business. What do you think about that? Is it intentional? I think it is absolutely intentional. And what's even more uh, amazing is they're not even trying to hide the fact. I mean, they're basically calling out the U.S. energy producers and say, hey, listen, you know, we can withstand this. You know, you, you guys better cut the production. We're not going to do anything. We're going to either bury you or we're all going to go drown in our own oil together together. And I mean, that's basically what it's coming down to. But uh, this is very serious right now because what they are doing is they are attacking one of the bright spots of the U.S. economy. They are going after one of the things that really created the economic boom that we have in this country, and that is the U.S. energy boom. Uh, and, you know, I don't think we should stand by quietly and allow them to do it. But well, in the short term, do, uh, right now they're bearing the price. You know, I, I, if I were President Obama, I'd be on the phone with them right now and say, hey, listen, this is unfair trade practices. You're dumping cheap oil on our markets. You're offering our buyers of your oil a lower price than anybody else in the world. If that was any other product in the world, there would be outrage. There would be screaming. So, you know, you could put a tariff on Saudi oil. Uh, you could take away some of the economic mm. benefits uh, of trade with Saudi Arabia. But I'd send them a message that we would not stand by and let them try to destroy one of our industries. Uh, well, Charlie, Charlie it, Prince <laughs> Lead, let me just add this. Prince Lead yeah. said this in a recent interview, saying there's a positive side effect when he's talking about the price of oil going down. Where, whereby at a certain price, we will see how many shale oil production companies run out of business. He says that's the positive side of things. Well, he thinks that's positive. Listen, shale oil uh, drilling and uh, that sort of technology is not going away anytime soon. When the price of oil goes back up, if you put those companies out of business, there'll be other companies to take their place. Uh, the Saudi Arabia and the rest of those oil-producing nations that used to have us by the throat, really, because of technology, they don't anymore. And that, to me, is a very good thing. Now, will there be a market disruption in the mid mid time? In the meantime, of course. Uh, Exxon and all these big oil companies are going to take hits on their profits. By the way, every time they made a lot of money in the past, you would see the liberal media go nuts saying, look how much money these, these oil producers are making. They're gouging consumers. Uh, let's think of more positives. Consumers, consumers have, are getting, thanks to Saudi Arabia, and these are middle class and average Americans are getting a huge tax cut. They are seeing prices yeah. fall for gasoline, for So you, you say that's okay. Yeah. So and you're I, saying yeah, that's more the, of a the way positive. The, the, way the, the way the capitalist system is yeah. supposed to work is that when these yeah. stocks do bad, other companies will do well so Phil, and the market will adjust. Right. Let me ask but you about that, Phil. Because, let me ask you about that right. because obviously the innovation yeah. from these shale producers is huge. Not only has it changed the business yeah. here in the United States, it has the possibility of changing geopolitics for the entire world world. So if these businesses it have is. been so innovative that they've been able to create this business, can they also be so innovative to make money at $40 a barrel? I think they can be, and I think Charlie makes some very good points. But, you know, the problem I have with the drop in gasoline prices is the rate it's falling. It is doing damage to the economy. Make no mistake about it. You know, the last time oil prices fell this this hard and this fast, it was a forerunner to the Great Recession. Nobody believes that those low gasoline prices lift us, lifted yeah, but, us but out but of that Phil, recession. But Phil, and look at... Yeah, the, the 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 gas prices falling is a response to economic conditions as well. I mean, let's be clear here. China and, and, isn't, and it's, China, and it's, China isn't going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, their economy is growing, but they have an economic slowdown. Right. The world is so it's not just that we're right. producing a lot. We have an economic slowdown, i.e., less need for yeah. oil. That's what the market. Let me ask tries you both this final question but because is, there's something else going on. There, let yeah. let yeah. me just ask you this: the, sure. the Keystone Pipeline debate sure. that's ongoing, and one of the yeah. one of the issues or potential amendments. To the legislation is that we would reverse uh, something that we haven't done in a long time, and that is.
as the ability to export oil uh, from our country because we're not able to do that in, in a certain form now. Charlie, you first, and then Phil. If, would that change anything? Would that be helpful to our industries to be able to export? Would that also keep the price of oil down for consumers, but but help some of the little guys in the meantime? What about well, that? I, maybe, you know, I, I don't know if I quite understand your question, but I, I don't think it matters. I mean, one of the things that President Obama keeps getting wrong, he, he mentions that if we have the Keystone Pipeline, we won't be able to, you know, it's a global market, so we wouldn't be using it. That's the whole point. When you have a global market, right, when you produce more, hmm. prices will go down because it's a global market. Yeah. I will say this. Suppose a bunch of, and I'm sure it's going to happen, a bunch of shale oil companies uh, go out of business. Because We're seeing they borrowed, that. They borrowed the at very high rates. It, it, that's going to happen. Are you telling me that, that because oil is traded on a futures market, right, Phil trades it, that the price of oil will go, will, will, won't go back up, it'll go up somewhat, but the future traders will say, we still have this technology. It's still in the ground. We, the price of oil, I think, marginally will not rise that much in the future. Phil, I think, I think that's, it, I it's, it's technology. I, I agree with that. And to answer your question, Jenna, I, I think if we approve the Keystone Pipeline, lift the ban on export, it will help the small producers. We've got a bottleneck of crude in this country. This is revenue that could be coming back to these shale producers by lifting that ban. And, and there's, it's starting to happen. You know, today, I think Shell got approval to export some of this shale oil today. Uh, the, I, I think that wall is going to come tumbling down. And that's one of the positive things that the government can do to help the U.S. energy industry and help the shale producers. I was just I'm being a little greedy. I'd like both the low gas prices and also the new businesses to survive if they're meant to be, to Charlie's point. That is capitalism. Some will and some won't. And we'll have to see what happens. Great to have you both. It's a big conversation and look forward to having you both back. Thank you so much. Okay.